let's do some probability drawing marbles without replacement. We're going to work on this example. We will be drawing two marbles of the same color without replacement. That means that whenever we draw one marble out of the jar, it is going to come out and stay out. Now we're going to need a couple of formulas, but I'm going to make it so much easier. The first one that we need is the conditional probability formula. The probability of A and B is the probability of A times the probability of B given A, but don't worry, I'm going to make it so much easier than that. The second formula that we need is the OR probability, which is for cases, and that's going to be the probability of A or B is the probability of A plus the probability of B. Now we want to get started by figuring out how many of each marble we've got. So of those yellow marbles, there are six of them. We've got five of the blue marbles and four of those red marbles for a total of 15 marbles. With this information, we can go ahead and dive into our probability. So the probability of getting the same color really breaks down to three different cases. So the probability of the same color is equal to the probability of getting a yellow and a yellow or this is where that plus comes in. So we have another case, the probability of blue, I'm just gonna use my and symbol and blue, or again, this is where the plus comes in, the probability of red and red. Let's start with the probability of yellow and yellow first. So I want the probability of yellow times the probability that the second one is yellow, that's that and. Well, as I go to draw that first yellow, there are six of them out of the 15 marbles. But I'm gonna go ahead and draw that marble and set it aside before I do the second one. This is the probability of A given B, yellow given that the first one was a yellow. So now I go back to my jar of marbles and there are five yellow marbles left. So that second probability, there are five marbles to choose from. And there are no longer 15 marbles, but there are 14 marbles left. So 14. Now we're ready for our blues. So the probability, so this is going to be plus the probability of blue times the probability that the second one is blue. We're going to do this one very much the same way, but it's its own new case. Let's fill that marble jar back up and go back and draw a blue one. So the probability of getting that first one to be blue, there are five blue marbles out of the 15, but we need to assume this is conditional probability without replacement. So we've got to assume that the first one was blue. We take it out and set it aside. Now we've got four blue marbles left. So times four over, and there are 14 marbles left. Plus, finally, red and red, I've got to fill that marble jar back up. But when I go to draw that first red, there are four of them to choose from. So four out of 15 times, once I take a red out, there are three of those left, three out of 14. I found my calculator and I'm gonna very carefully type all of that into my calculator we get as a decimal 0.295, about 29.5%. And if I convert that to a fraction, we get 31 out of 105. You are doing great. I know you're gonna like this one too.